This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video, Wednesday the 6th of January. James Spann here. We crank these out twice a day year-round, but yes, everybody's here today. Wanting to know about snow tomorrow, Arctic cold for the weekend, a lot to talk about. So let's take a look out the window with our Skycam network. That's the Tuscaloosa Skycam. Hey, at least we're above freezing in many spots today. Not everybody, but most folks are up in the middle 30s. And again, above you can see some cirrus clouds. And you know the old saying, cirrus nearest, stratus coming at us. And we'll see those clouds becoming thicker and lower late tonight. That's the uh, downtown Birmingham sky cam on top of the Daniel Building looking north. Sky sunny there in Mount Cheehaw. They're sitting at 32. Boy, the first time in many days they have been out of the 20s during the day for highs. But still cold up there. Here's our big storm coming down across the uh, upper Midwest. Rolling down this way. That old barbed wire fence on the Tennessee state line will not hold it back. Here's our temperatures this afternoon. Uh, 33 in Coleman. Birmingham, 36. We might make that forecast high of 38. It'll be a close call. And yeah, buddy, there's our watch warning map. Look at the blizzard warning for South Dakota. Got uh, winter storm warnings, much of uh, Iowa, Missouri, and even down into Mississippi, uh, the counties in white down there. That's a winter storm watch for the U.S. 82 corridor, West Point, Columbus, Starkville. That's where the Weather Service in Jackson thinks the snow potential will be maximized. And by golly, that matches up pretty good with our forecast. Uh, with the uh, snow max over Alabama through the central counties of the state. There's the uh, look at the snow as of uh, mid or early afternoon. Pretty good snow falling in Kansas City coming down. Uh, Des Moines, Omaha. And we'll have that here tomorrow. QPF chart for the next five days. Expected overall precipitation uh, through Monday morning at 6 o'clock. And, of course, the amounts are pretty light here, and that jives up nicely with a forecast. Let's look at the uh, modeling here. This is the... Uh, 12Z run of the GFS at noon tomorrow. You can see our developing system down below that. The 12Z runs a little slower, so it might be 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That might be the 12-hour window for most of the snow. Still, there could be some snow early in the morning over far north and uh, northwest Alabama. But uh, again, uh, you can see the deeper moisture is going to be shunted south. Look at 6 o'clock. It jives up really nicely with our ongoing forecast where the uh, better moisture should be along and south of Interstate 20. The moisture pretty limited across the northern third of the state. And um, peak of the RPM, accumulated snow. This is the 15Z run. And it's got snow cover over, over all of North Alabama and North Georgia. But understand, this thing has a warm bias. The thickness values are too high. Uh, there's no doubt there'll be precipitation below that. But the RPM thinks it will be in the form of rain. Based on the thickness values coming off the good global models, we think it will be in the form of snow. So we think the uh, snow will be farther south. But everybody, no doubt, will get some snow from this thing across the uh, northern half of the state. And, yeah, we're just going to stick with that. I see no reason, I mean none, to depart from this forecast we've had for a couple of days now. Uh, one to two inches across the central part of the state, south of a line from Reform to Gardendale to Odenville, Sachs, and Muscadine, and north of a line from Demopolis to Billingsley to Wetumpka to Opelika. Potential for one to two inches in there. Uh, north of that line, the moisture limited will say a dusting to one inch. Places like Gadsden, Coleman, and Hamilton. And for Montgomery and Selma, a wintry mix. I think there will be some snow down there. They're right on the fence on Highway 80. Uh, you know, some spots might pick up two inches of snow, some spots just a cold rain. It's a close call down there. But again, that forecast still looks very good to us. And in terms of the impact on humans, just check the blog. Uh, obviously, there will be some slick spots with the cold uh, infrastructure and the uh, low soil temps. Uh, hilly terrain, roads will be slick, bridges will be slick with uh, snow beginning tomorrow afternoon, continuing tomorrow night and Friday morning. Then by Friday evening, the uh, evaporation kicks in. Most of the road should be much better by then. Uh, all right, after the cold on Friday, or after the snow on Thursday, we turn cold on Friday. That's Friday's map at noon. Cold air advection, windy, cold highs in the 20s. The wind chill index will be in the single digits most all day, more than likely. And Saturday, look at the strong Vortmax diving down through the base of the trough. That thing could squeeze out a few snow flurries. Tremendous upward forcing. Of course, no moisture, but sometimes even with limited moisture, those things will produce snow flurries, but cold is the word. Again, a high Saturday only in the low and mid-20s, and up in the Tennessee Valley wouldn't be shocked if they don't get out of the teens. Again, it's windy. We'll have low wind chill index values, single digits, maybe near zero at times. 
Saturday morning will start the day off around 9 or 10. And Sunday morning might be the coldest morning. There's Sunday's chart. And uh, uh, if this is correct, we might be out there around 8 or 9. Now, if there's snow cover still, could be colder than that. And, uh, boy, look look how close Jacksonville and Daytona Beach are to getting a whopper of a snowstorm there with that developing surface low. Wouldn't that be something? And then uh, Monday, we start to moderate. Highs go back in the 40s. Tuesday, look at this next system coming in here. And then Wednesday, very strong upper system uh, near Chattanooga and Gatlinburg. And down below that, hey, could we see a few snowflakes Wednesday of next week? Look, this is uh, uh, speculation here at this point. Uh, with first time we've seen that look, we'll adjust that later as need be. A couple of days later, this is the next really major storm, it looks like, on the 15th at mid-month. Very deep trough back off to the west. That looks fairly wet, but again, in this kind of pattern, uh, we'll have to watch for any winter weather mischief there. And at the end of the forecast on the 22nd, split flow. Uh, you can see the uh, ridge over western Canada, downstream trough, active southern branch. That just looks like mischief right there. Uh, it's going to be an active month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, uh, the blog is alabamawx.com. We put frequent updates over there. And if you're local to us, yes, we would love to have you watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.